Oh my gosh, this uh, 60 second thing is a pain in the ass. Hi, I get it. I get you. I told, yes, that was you in my head when you sent that meme of the person who listens to the other person do podcasts into their ear. That, yeah, got it. And now here I am, ah, podcasting back. Um, okay, so you get down to the bottom of this train vault and you catch your train and it's super easy. You buy your ticket online, um, no hassle, cheap drops you off at this Grand Central train station in Central Helsinki. And then I had to figure out how to connect to the tram, which Google did a pretty good job of telling me my options. And I connected to the tram. Well, I walked around in a lot of circles and with my stuff and I was kind of tired and I was like, oh, where do I go? And I finally thought I found the right street to catch the right tram. And then Google mentioned this other number of a tram. It was like the three or the nine. And the three had just passed, and the nine comes along, and I'm like, fine, fuck it, I'll jump on the nine. So I jump on the nine, and then I start looking. Oh, by the way, I jump on the nine, and I'm like immediately confronted with um, Finnish alcoholism. These like guys my age who must have livers the size of fucking Georgia were sitting there at the back of the tram, like half stumbling drunk, but fully functional still. And um, just kind of reminded me of the shit, the journey that I'm on. I'm like, oh, yeah, hi, Finland. I knew about this. And, um, yeah, I'd heard about the stories with alcoholism in Finland. So anyway, like, they um, gave me space, and they were nice, and they were kind of, like, loud, but whatever. And um, I start looking, and I realize that the tram I'm on goes not where I need to go, but sort of close to where I need to go. So I have to, like, strategically know how to jump off and then walk about four blocks to get to where I need to go. So I do that and um, that all works out fine. And I work, I walk to the Airbnb entrance and I did not read instructions very carefully. Huh, <laughs> surprise. And um, went to the hallway that I was told, it, it matches the address, but it's the hallway to not go to if you read the instructions. Go to the other entrance because they look identical and they both have elevators, and they both go to the fourth floor, and they both have doors at the top of the fourth floor that look like they could be the place. So I get up there, and I'm smart enough to not knock on the door because it didn't feel right, and I look into it, and I research, realize wrong corridor, and I go down, I go back up the other one, and then I um, find it, and it works out. And I tell the woman who answers the door my journey and she laughs and she says everyone does that and that's why she puts the instructions on very clearly and I said mm, thanks yeah just didn't look at them so um, oh look I'm over three minutes I'm gonna go to four now so I I um I, I check in quote-unquote and she's super nice and the room is really cool it's got this amazing artwork on the wall and I ask her what I should do because I have an afternoon in Helsinki and she's super kind she's like well we're an island nation and these are all islands and helsinki is made up of like 30 islands so like get on the water go see helsinki get on a boat in fact we're going out on a boat you're welcome to join us and i was like yeah um, super nice thank you very much but i think i'll just do the tourist thing so i jump on the tourist boat that takes you out to like this really cool old fort that's like a series of islands connected by bridges and it's still military base but it's old historic fort and stuff too so i did that and it was awesome that's four minutes